Hello guys, welcome to my channel today and thanks for joining me. So today we're going to do the Christmas cards that I said I would come on and do. This is a kit from Anna at Pink Monarch Prints. There is a video on my channel showing you um, some of the kits that Anna's got in her Etsy shop at the moment and one of them was Christmas cards and then she added uh, matching envelopes to the kit. So I will leave a link in my description. So I thought I'd come on and make some of these Christmas cards. I don't know whether I'll have time to do them all. And with the Christmas cards, there was some little sentiments which will come in really handy that we can use. So let's just pop them. I've got just a few bits on my desk here that I might need to work with. Just then I don't have to stop the video. I've got some papers and book page for a little bit of collage. Yeah, them little words come with the, the Christmas cards, which is really nice. And then these little images there they come with the Christmas cards as well let's just pop them over there <laughs> and then we'll yeah, I don't think I printed all the envelopes off I don't know why I didn't I think I didn't have enough ink so they're the envelopes so let's just put them over there for a minute and then I'll show you the Christmas cards so they come uh, two on a sheet so you just need to cut them and then you also get this backing sheet which makes them look nice and aged and then you just want to fold them in half they're just the right size I just like these little Christmas cards so I thought yeah we'll just decorate some of these up I didn't know whether I'd have time to come on and do it but I finished my Christmas journals and that now so Oh, there's a little bit of white showing there I'm just going to cut it off yeah I didn't know whether I'd have time to come on but like I said I've finished my Christmas journals now I'm getting ready for the December daily so I just thought we'd do this video in case you want to go and buy them just a little bit of inspiration <laughs> just folding them. and they're great because they're, just, they're all done for you you need to add a little bit you could, you could even just add the sentiment to the front to be honest they don't need a great deal on them I've just got a few bits out just to just to work with in case I want them just trimming that's not very straight at the bottom okay. and I like that you get this paper for printing on the back and it's not just plain inside I printed them on a cream cardstock that was 200 GSM what I used in my printer and look the same there the line. I thought I'd cut them all down I mustn't have I mustn't have I thought I'd trim them already <laughs> never mind it won't take a second yeah there's eight I think in total I've trimmed some of them but not all of them so <laughs> how are we doing guys are we all okay how's your Christmas shopping going are you getting there? <laughs> I've nearly finished now, it's just wrapping. I haven't wrapped one single thing up yet that I need to do. I haven't done any wrapping, it's not my favourite job in the world. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have to make a start. I don't want to leave it all till Christmas week and then have to spend every day wrapping up. And then that one there, let's just trim that off a little bit. Right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to get my messy mat. Let's just move these little sentiments out of the way a minute. Put that back, I'll just pop them to the side of me. I probably have to do three at a time or four at a time. I'm going to use my gold mica spray. Which way does that go? Uh, where is it? Yeah, it's here. This is just a prism glimmer mist and it's gold. If you haven't got this, if you've got an acrylic paint, water your paint down, get a paintbrush and you can just splatter it like that. So I'm going to just flick some gold on the background to my tag, uh, to my cards, sorry, not my tags. Yeah, acrylic paints will work just the same if you haven't got any of this glimmer mist. Right, I'm just going to dry them four off and then I'll bring the other four in and do those. Just get my heat gun. Okay, so that's them four and they're just gorgeous. They don't really need anything adding to them apart from a sentiment, to be honest. You could just bowl them, add your sentiment and there you go. They're all in. Um, she's done them lovely. She really has. 
these are my Christmas cards for this year I'll probably print another set off I don't want to start my winter project now because um, yeah I don't want to start the winter project and um, there is a video coming up showing you bits and pieces that I've got sorted for my winter kit uh, for my winter journal sorry you won't have seen it yet that's coming up soon so I'm just going to dry off this ink again it's dry now so let's just put them over there it only takes a minute to dry that let's just wipe that off um, I don't want to leave the white down I don't think I need to really let's put it out of the way sometimes the camera doesn't like white and it starts going out of focus right let's start with this one then so um, what I'm going to do first is just get my ink pad and it's just a little bit of card showing at the top there I'm just going to go over it with my ink I think I'm going to go around them as well as my ink with some of my gilding polish at the end Okay, so I've inked around them all, so let's start putting some something on the front. Right, I'm going to do just a little bit of collage. I've got some bits and pieces here, just in this corner. And then just put a sentiment on, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to put too much on. It doesn't need it, I don't think. Just going to put that on. A little bit of sheet music. Maybe a little piece of this, like that, and then a little piece of lace. Got some lace scraps here, let's just use them. Yeah, just like that, that's all I'm going to put on there. And then one of the little sentiments, let's just bring them back in, let's have a look which one we want. Um, I think we'll just go with, what does that say, all is calm, believe in the magic, I think we'll have that one, right I'm just going to put a little bit of ink over this book page just to tie it in with the cards a bit better, let's stick that down, yeah you don't have to make it complicated because the, oh, don't say this is blocked, they um they're nice as they are. Oh, why are we blocked up now? Oh dear me. One of these days. I'm just looking for my pin now. You can imagine now I won't be able to find a pin anywhere. Oh dear me. No, I can't find a pin. Let's just see if I can find another glue. Let's use this one. Just save me faffing around looking for my pins. This never seems to block this one, this Nouveau glue. It is a nice glue. I like working with that one. Yeah, it is a really nice one. Put that on there. Okay, so yeah, I've just put that little bit of collage there. I don't know whether to stick that sort of like that. Or whether to stick it up there and to stick something. I like that little bit of lace on there. Let's see if this glue will stick the lace down. I'm not sure how it goes for... It should do, it's only a little piece. Right, I'm just going to get my box of little bits and pieces and see if there's any bits that I can stick on there. Just some little... I know I've got these, but a lot of them are bigger pieces of ephemera. No, that's too big. I think they're all big pieces in here. No, too big. Yeah, I think they're all big pieces. Could put that little Father Christmas on there, I suppose. I don't know whether I like that. <laughs> I don't know if I like that lace or whether I just want. No, I don't want to put that on. What else can I put on there? They're all too big, so they're no good. Let's have a look in the other box. I'm not sure what's in this one, to be honest. I think they're all big flowers in here, too. Oh, we've got some little bits and pieces. Let's have a look what these are. If we can get anything out of here, what's that piece of holly? Can you not see the lace, will you? If I put that on, um, there we go. We'll have that little piece of holly on there. I'm just going to ink around my edges just because the white where I've fussy cut around them. Oh, 
that was clever Alison. I'm going to put it sort of there then you can just see the lace a little bit and then this one I think I'm just going to cut it down just a little bit just get rid of some of the green yeah then I'm just going to stick that on the top there I don't know whether to put it on with some of these I think we'll use some of these little little um, foam, foam pads adhesive pads they'll still fit in the envelope I'm sure just give a little bit of dimension I can get hold of it <laughs> right so let's stick that up there and then I've got some of these little goals they're just like stickers let's stick a few of them on just to finish it off And that gold spray is really sparkly. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, guys. Just like that, really clean and simple little Christmas cards. I can just pop in an envelope. So there's one. Let's grab another one. This one here. It's not straight at the bottom. Do you know that trimming of mine? Oh, dear me. It drives me insane. It does. Right. Do I want to put anything on here? Um, I'm just thinking about whether to go because I've got some bigger flowers. Uh, let's have a look in here. Got that big one there, like that, and then just a small sentiment at the top. Yep, yeah, let's do that. Let's use what we've got. I don't want to be buying anything else Christmas wise now, just to make some Christmas cards with. Uh, let's cut around this Merry Christmas. see if we can put it on some of these little pads I'll just have to cut them down a little bit they'll be a bit too wide I think put some of them on if you don't like these then obviously just use your glue right stick that down there do I want to put anything underneath here? I don't think I do. I think I just want to leave it like that. I'm just going to go over it because it's a bit white. Uh, and I'm going to use foam pads on here as well. I was going to put some book page underneath but I don't think I need it really to be honest I think it'll look nice, nice just as it is let's put it that way yeah like that and then with some little stickers on let's put some of these on again oops not got it <laughs> yeah there we go there's another one nice and quick and easy Right, let's have a look at this one. We want something big to go on here. Let's have a look what else I've got in here. I've got a Christmas tree. Yep, let's go with that. Let's just put some of these pads on the back. This is quite dimensional in any way, this tree, so I'm not going to put a lot on. I'm just going to put a few on. It's just nice to use some of my die cuts and my bits and pieces up. Let's have a look at another word. Which one shall we have? Uh, what's that one say? Have a holly jolly Christmas. I should have stuck that on with the one with the holly. We'll save that and use some holly. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let's have that one. Just going to cut around it so it's straight. going to ink around the edge a little bit yeah they don't need lots on guys if you've, if you've got this kit well I don't think so anyway I mean you can do if you like you know you can embellish them however you want to but sometimes it's nice just to use basics isn't it than what you've got in your stash 
Yeah, that's fine. Let's put some more of these on. There we go. Another one. Nice and quick and easy. Oh yeah, we've got one with holly here. So we'll have, that, have a holly jolly Christmas up there. Let's just put some foam pads on it. I just need to ink around it a little bit. Where's my ink pad gone? Right, we'll put it at this side for a change. Right, let's see if we've got some holly in here. Put some there, will that be too big? Oh no, just fit nice on there. That will. I think I'm going to stick this down because it is dimensional. It's three dimensional, it's already got like little foam pads on it. As, as uh, It's already got the little foam pads on the first layer, so it'd be too bulky if I stick more on. I'm just going to use my glue for this one. Oh, sorry guys, that's my tablet. I always mean to put it on silent and I forget. Oh, I like that one. It's nice. Let's put some of these on. I wonder if I can be better with... If they'll peel off like that. No. I mean, you could use any die cuts on them, Christmas ones. You don't have to be botanical ones. So there's that one. Right, next one we got on there oh see there's there's a lot on there them lovely Christmas trees so I don't even know if I want to put anything else on there to be honest um yeah I don't want to spoil it Let's have that flower maybe put that flower on the corner let's just ink over the edges of it because it's a bit yeah let's put that on and then we want a little sentiment for on here what have we got here let it snow joy to the world yeah let's have that one I'm just going to trim it down just a little bit so I've got this video and then I've got another one coming up showing you my plans for my winter journal and then I'm going to have a couple of days off <laughs> before I start the December daily because yeah it's full on when you're doing trying to do that every day videoing and uploading and yeah preparing so after this one there'll be one more video till the 1st of December and then we'll be back ready to go to document December yep right where shall we put that let's put that in that corner there I like these they're really nice Anna really lovely quick and easy to put together you've done all the work for us with the lovely backgrounds yeah I'm just gonna put oh wrong way <laughs> just gonna put three on each one there we go there's that one how many more have we got left three that's the backgrounds are just beautiful aren't they they really are lovely have a look at a fussy cut around here. <laughs> I couldn't have picked up a bigger pair of scissors to fussy cut with, could I? I did not too bad when you're doing a big image. I don't know whether it'll be too big for the front of the car, but we'll try it. only needs that on doesn't it and then just a little what does that say winter wonderland merry what does that say joyous noel i could stick that along the bottom like that couldn't i what else have we got um oops i can't get hold of them i 
does that one say? Oh, that's just a piece of paper. That just says Merry Happy Holidays. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's just ink around this flower because I don't like the edges. I'm just going to go over it a little bit. Even though I've used cream cards, sometimes it doesn't look to be like a proper cream to me. Let me just see if I've got any more of them little foam pads. Um, what have I done with them now? Right, let's stick some of these on then. Yeah, I've got tons of these things from when I was card making. Okay. Right, so let's put that. I'm just going to stick it on the front and then let's just have a little word. Where did I put that little? Shall we have that one, Joyous Noel? Yeah, let's cut around it and just make it straight. need another one this side because otherwise it'd be a bit uneven yeah there we go just like that quick and easy two more left to do right what should we put on this one this is another lovely one I don't want to put a lot on here I think I'm just going to put that Noel on there because I like it the way it is if I can trim around it a bit better it looks like I've cut it with a knife and fork not one bit straight I'm rubbish at cutting circles but it wasn't quite big enough for my punch uh, do I want anything under there let's have a look at a bit of this green paper just see what that looks like yeah we'll put that down just that little bit of paper stick that there and then we'll stick this piece of text down that there where's my ink pad let's just go over that oops And let's put this Noel down. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I do it every time, don't I? I always mean to mute my phone and my tablet when I turn the camera on, and I always forget every time. <laughs> right, let's put that Noel there. Oh, I didn't stick any gold ones on here. Let's just put some gold things on here. You know, I think it's easier with my fingers than trying to use this thing. Yeah, it is. One. Two. Oh dear me, they're very tiny. Right, there's that one. And let's put some on here. Dear me, some of them don't want to stick. Right, there we go. So there's that one. Let's just put a little bit of ink over there. That's it. And the last one, what have we got on here? Again, it's beautiful, so we don't want to stick a lot on there. Just have a look in my box of tricks. I think we'll have some more holly on this one. Yep, uh, I'm going to glue it down because it's already dimensional. Oops. 
Oh, it must be nearly lunchtime. I've got a rumbly tummy. I'm hungry today. Sometimes we don't have lunch till nearly half past two, three o'clock, but I'm hungry today. I'm not even sure what time of the day it is, to be honest. Uh, what else shall we have? Merry Christmas. Let's just put that down there. Yeah, like I said, I'll leave a link in my description to the kit, to the cards and the envelopes for you. I mean, you might have made your cards and that now. Um, I don't know, but I'll leave it there anyway because there is a sale on Anna's website at the moment. On her Etsy shop, sorry. Not a website. If you want to have a look. And like I said, you don't need to add lots to them. You only need a little bit because you've got the sentiment. So you only need, you don't really need to add anything if you don't want to. They're okay as they are. Right, let's just move this stuff out the way a minute. Yeah, where can I put it? Let's just put it in there for a minute. Move all these bits and pieces out the way. I've still got loads of stuff left. Sentiments that I can throw in my little sentiments box. Okay, so to finish off, I want to go around the edges. Um, I think, let's just have a look, I want gold, gold, red, 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 red. Right, so I'm going to do these few in gold and those four in red. So I'm just going to get my, I'll do the red ones first. Let me just turn that lemon tablet down, it's driving me mad, I don't know about you lot. Sorry guys, there we go, I've turned it down now hopefully. Uh, I've just got my palette knife, let's just put the lid on with glue and then that doesn't all dry up. Where have I put it? I'll have to sort that other glue out and see where that's not working. Right, so I've got my gold and my red gilding. Is it called gilding? What's it called? Gilding polish. So I've just got my spatula. I'm just going to put a little bit... A little bit of red on there like that and then I'm going to get the applicator you get a little applicator with it I'm just going to rub it in and then I'm going to go around the edges with some red not a lot just a bit just to give it a bit of a shine Yeah, it just gives it that nice, just frames the edges with a little bit of sparkle. And then this one. Okay, let's put that away and let's do the gold. Just going to wipe that red off first, put a little bit of gold on. Oh, I love this gold, it's beautiful. Um, I love these gilding polishes anyway, I love them all. That's just plenty, I think. Oh gosh, I can't get the applicator out. There we go. Let's just wipe it off there. Right, let's just go around the edge of here. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. don't know whether the camera will pick it up. Can you see the edges? Yeah, there's one. You only need a little bit as well. I've put far too much on there. Far too much. I could do 20 cards with that. And the last one. Right, okie dokie, let's just wipe that up before it dries all over me. Acrylic block. <laughs> oh dear me, I've got a gold desk as well now. 
Right, okay, let's just move all these bits and pieces out the way and then we'll have a look at the cards, what we've done. So I've got a bit of red on my desk as well. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got, we've got that one, that one, that one. And they were so quick and easy, weren't they? They came together in no time, didn't they? Really really quick and easy. Noel, joy to the world. Let's just move them down a little bit and then you can see. And then this last one, Merry Christmas. So then guys, that's my little project done for today. Like I said, I'll leave you the links if you want to have a look. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye. <laughs>